Should we take this to your chamber? Hmm. No need. My mind is fixed on Sussex. Basim and I have a chance to save Sigurd, but we will need an army. That is for you to decide. The more alliances you have, the better your chances at victory. I will go now, and I will bring Sigurd back with me. That is a promise. Good. I will send word to our allies at once. Meet with Basim when you can. He should be in Croindene by now. London is dark and grubby, as they say. Not since it almost burned to the ground. All those charred roof timbers really let in the light. I heard about that. The whole waterfront up in flames. Eivor! My second favorite Norse! Must we always drift together on such violent tides? That is the way of things. Yet the meeting of friends is a glimmer of light in these dark days. Ever the optimist, though. It's good to see you both. I brought no pleasant words, only my blade. Let's see which proves more useful. I heard about that. The whole waterfront up in flames. Well, that aside, we are... Eivor, you giant steaming bowl of elk piss! <laughs> King Oswald sends his regards. Brother, brother. Or is it the other way around? It's... Uh, good to see you, Eivor. Oh, stop mewing like a heartsick kitten! He's been moping since the wedding. There will be time later to reminisce. Are you madmen ready to spill some blood? After that bastard red, some nice soft Saxons will make easy meat for my blade. Well, that aside, we are making great strides to improve the lives of his people. You wouldn't be the first man to fall asleep on watch, but you would be the loudest. I did not mean to fail you, Gudrun Jarl. It was only for a moment. I was so tired. As are we all, boy. We marched hard to get here. Still, <gasps> let's not disappoint me again. You hear? My Jarl... I'm... sorry. You must be Eivor. I've heard much of you, young one. They say you're something. We'll see. Guthrum Jarl, Saxon Bane, and Reaver of the South. I am honored to meet you at last. Respect where it's due. I like that. Here's hoping you fight as smoothly as you talk. Eivor hopes to rescue Sigurd from the madwoman Fulke, now ensconced in Porchester Fortress. If you wish to crown yourself King of Wessex, Portchester must fall. An alliance here serves us both. You promised a great army, but you couldn't breach a Kron's garden with what you have assembled here. This is not the sum of my forces. Where are the rest? Your allies are on their way. We must be patient. We cannot wait for them. We march as soon as we're able. With these numbers, are you keen to see Valhalla today? I will not sit on my heels while Sigurd rots in that she-dog's care. We might muster for an attack in the woods east of Porchester. But there are scouts between there and here. Scouts I can manage. Point me at them and I will blind Fulke's eyes. One walks the road between Briggsworth and Chichester. Another on the riverbank north of Crowley. A third keeps watch on the hills south of Croendene. But I warn you, these are all we know of. There may be more. A risk we must take. I will find the scouts. You move the men into position near Porchester. That is a rash gamble, Ravenfeeder. If we are spotted, we will be vulnerable. If you want victory, come now or not at all. Every hour we waste could be Seeker's last. You had better be all they promised. Basil, I'd like to see this. I 
have seen the scouts. Passing and good will be waiting in the woods east of Porchester. Hey! I'll cut that nagging too! The scouts are dead, and you're safely encamped. I told you this would work. Time will tell. Any eye that saw you has been dimmed by death. You are not short on confidence. That much is clear. I have a method, Guthrum. And though you may not see it, it has served me well. If your method is to risk hundreds for the sake of one, then you are right. I don't. I found something of interest on one of the scouts. Fulke has news of Croindon's fall. She is gathering men and supplies, perhaps to weather a siege. If she is allowed to dig in at Porchester, it might be months before we can get Sigurd out. Do you still say I'm reckless in my haste, Guthrum? Saxons! Saxons from the west! I say your haste has put us squarely in the shit. Fulke was forewarned. There must have been more scouts than we knew of. What's done is done. Save your breath and fight. Eivor, this mess is of your making. To kill them here, or behind the walls of Porchester. Either way, they die. That's the way, Eivor. to Porchester! They flee like rabbits! Then we chase them like hounds! That ugly bastard's head is mine! Not if I get there first, slow arse! Leave him! The day is already won! Saxon, you'll join your friends soon enough. Is it for that withered bag of skin you fight? For Sigurd the sickly? If Sigurd dies today, I will find your corpse and piss on it. You bear your false deities like a plague to this land. But you know nothing of those who truly decide our fate. I decide your fate today, Saxon. I am ready for my final journey. Let me see what lies beyond. I will not. Go and tell Fulke what you saw today. Tell her Ava is coming to tear her heart from her chest. I will tell Fulke her opponent is a weakling who does not have the stomach to finish what they started. He is you dead, will regret Eivor. this mercy! No breath within him. Co you are wounded, Broder. Let me bear your brother to the camp. Reckless stripling! I warned you the risk was too great! Peace, Guthrum. It is Fulke who merits your wrath, not Eivor. You have not seen the half of my wrath. How many of my men now lie dead on account of this glory hoarder? 
Many have died, my friend here among them. The fault is mine. Knowing that is shame enough. Small comfort that is to the dead. What happened here? Uba, Soma, you come at a black hour. I'm too late to bloody our blades. Most a pity. I hope to take Porchester with this one. But Folk is forewarned now. I have no more appetite for this. I will go west. Go then. But know you leave me in a time of need. What you need is to swallow your pride, raven feeder. Listen to wiser heads than yours. Eivor. I will hear you, Guthrum Saxon Bane, if you wish to speak your peace. You want your Jarl back? You must be cold as frost. Bravery is your enemy as often as your friend. We do not dash ourselves against hopeless courses. We arrive unexpected, strike swift, gather your allies, pick your moment. Then, and only then, you crush them. You can triumph yet. Go with the wisdom of Odin, the power of Thor, the wit of Freya. Go and find your brother. Gudrum spoke in anger, but there is wisdom in what he says. I heard and heeded. I'm not too proud to admit my mistake. Then there is wisdom in you as well. We will wait for our allies before the final attack. Until then, we have work to do. First, we need a new camp. The Saxons think we have retreated, but we will draw even closer. Here. Arrive unexpected. Erke, Stowe, right there ahead of me. Together, we will bring them down. It brings me no pleasure to fight my own people, but a debt is a debt. We will leave immediately. Besides, there are men of Wessex, Alfred's folk, no brothers of yours. After that, we should strike at Fulke's supplies all across Sussex. Yes. If she is allowed to dig in at Porchester, we will lose our chance to rescue Sigurd. The letter I found on the scout mentioned Bridgeworth, Gildeford, and Crowley. They produce weapons in Crowley. Food in Gildeford. Bridgeworth is a stronghold. Many Saxon swords there. Uba, I need your axe arm at Gildeford. Soma, you and your men will aid me in Crowley. Count on us. I will go to Bridgeworth and take a measure of things there. Good. I will join you after I've dealt with the Saxon camp. A lion's heart and a crow's cunning. Guthrum judged you too swiftly. We have work to do. Let's be about it. Soma and Uba, I apologize. I would have liked to offer a better welcome after your long journey. I'm only sorry we could not be here sooner. We'll need a short while to organize the men. Then we'll set off as soon as we're able. Hey! I'll cut that nagging tooth. Eivor has returned! Hail, Wolfkist! Hey! And so violence begets violence. An eye for an eye, as the good book says. But soon we will all be blind. Not quite. Whoever makes the last strike should still have one eye left. In the street of the blind, the one-eyed man is called the guiding light. Does that holy tome of yours have a quote for everything? Eivor, forgive me. I have slain too many of my own people already. I cannot kill more. I must return to London. And you, Erke? Do you feel the same? Someone has to keep an eye on him in the big city. He would only get himself killed otherwise. We took this camp together, so I will ask no more of you. Return home, and let your friendship be a beacon to our peoples. Godspeed, Eivor. I pray you come back safe. Aha. Birsten, I'm glad to see you again. How is your family? Alvida keeps my house and heart in order. She has even charmed that old shrew, Adred. And Elleridge? He has not returned. 
I hear stories of a man full of tempests, picking fights in taverns. We must hope, when hope is all we have. I'm sorry for your troubles, but glad for your help. I have brought for you a ram of unsurpassed craftsmanship. Their gates will not hold long against it. That is a fine gift indeed. I will make good use of it. Fight hard, Eivor. When have I done otherwise? So, my Jarlskona, you seem grave. I'm thinking on the battle to come. Every conflict has a cost. I wonder who will pay this time. We are no strangers to loss, you and I. The ache of absent souls is a wound that never heals. But we may yet return your brother to your side. There is that. Fulke and her men will bear the cost today, not us. I wish I were as sure of it as you. Uba, any advice before we begin? Advice? You need none of that now. You stand in no one's shadow, Eivor. Lofty praise from the son of Ragnar Lofbrook. It may be that one day our paws lead us to doom, Eivor. But at least we can say the footprints we left were our own. Bishop Deolav. Strange to see a man of God on the battle lines. It may surprise you, but I was no stranger to horse and hunt in my younger days. It is Saxons we fight this day, Deolav. Not Britons, and not in Mercia. It is Fulke I fight. A false Christian preaching a corruption of God's word. If I can assist in her downfall, I will. Then you're welcome here, friend. You are quite the agent of chaos. Fulke's men are chasing their tails, not knowing where you will strike next. Poor Chester has neither the supplies nor the forces to keep us out now. And you have bought time for your allies to arrive. Many have come, not least the bishop here. As I promised. <laughs> As a keeper of God's word, it would be poor form if I did not keep my own. Now, if the talking is done, there's blood to be spilled. Eivor, dark news. We found a letter on one of the dead. Fulke has called for aid. Reinforcements. A Saxon army marches from Winchester. Then my men and I will ride to meet them. We will harry them every step of the way to buy you time. We may begin the assault at once, or... You might wish to speak with your allies, if you've not done so already. Warm words do thaw the chill of battle fear. We march. When the sun sets on this day, Sigurd will be returned to us, and Fulke's head will be on a spike. Let us begin. I left you in Canterbury? You will die today, Fulke! But your men may live if you come here to me and settle this alone. We have nothing to settle. Die on these walls if you will. It is your choice. No wall is high enough to keep me from you. Then come! Claim your brother if you can. I shall wait with him. If you would find us. You need only follow his screams. Fulke! What will the Skalds say when they speak of this day? They will say we unleashed such rampant slaughter that Odin himself stirred on his throne to watch. They will say that ravens blackened the sky to feast on Saxon dead. So raise your swords with me now, brothers and sisters. For today is the day we carve our names into legend! <laughs> I'm coming for you, brother.
So many battles and so few scores, Basil. What's your secret? I don't get hit. Aha! The simplest strategies are the best. Church! Fulke must have taken him there! Come on, Basim! Face us, Fulke! Your cowardice betrays you! <laughs> Your life finish him! Fulke! I have done all I could to help him, Ava. The rest is up to you. I'm here for you. I have you. Let me stay with him. You deal with Fulke. I'll come back for you. I promise. Cower from me, Fulke, like a rat in the dark. We are all in the dark, Ava. It is the search for the light that brings us closer to the gods. Save your babble. Death is our language now. You fight beneath the banner of ignorance, Ava. I could pull back the curtain for you, give you a glimpse of what lies beyond. I need nothing from you. This ends here. A pity to kill one with such potential. Where are your fine words now, Paladin? If you will not raise your eyes to the light, I will bury you in the dark. So you can fight after all. Do you not wonder, Aver, at the things I have learned? Every word you say is madness. Sigurd is an ancient one. An archer. Nephilim. Isu. Call him what you will. He is reborn. He is my brother and my Jarl. And you are mine, sick. He is everything we should hope to be. Fulke! Damn you to hell!
Bouquet! You can't run from me forever! Nobody touch her. She's mine. You are too late, Haver. I have opened your brother's mind to the truth. That is my victory. And you will go with me to the grave. My flesh, my work will live on for all time. You are more like your brother than I realized, Aver. we are. Spit and vomit. Shit and soil. Sigurd is so much more. I gave him that understanding. That gift. You gave him pain. Yes. To awaken him. Sigurd. Eivor. I will... I, I will fight. As a thresher through a field of weed, mad one. What has she done to you? Eivor! We delayed them as long as we could. Reinforcements from Winchester have come. Get Sigurd to a boat. I'll hold them off till you're safely away. Fight well, Eivor. Find us at the settlement when you can. Archers! To the walls!
Is that the last of them? We have beaten them back for now, but without Guthrum's army, we do not have the numbers to hold this fort. We found Sigurd. That is what matters. Guthrum was hasty in his judgment, Eivor. You are fit to stand with the best of us. Go to your brother. The words of one beloved will heal him faster than herbs. I will see to matters here. May the gods guide you, Uber. Until we meet again. Did you like the taste of battle? That was... exhilarating! Reminds me of my younger days. Had you not delayed those reinforcements, we might never have succeeded. You're brave for a priest. Do not underestimate the faithful. We give our lives to a god we cannot see or touch. There is no greater bravery than that. Sigurd Jarl, back where you belong. Oh, I missed you, my brother. Yeah, you missed me? Yeah. Once or twice, I hear. What? You took your time to find me. Was it for this? To enjoy your time on my throne? I did only what you asked of me. And you slew all those who questioned you. That is not what happened. Ranvi, Ranvi will tell you. Oh, yeah. We'll see. My dear wife. Brought to me as a gift by her clan to pacify my ambition. Yes, I'm sure she will be the one to tell me the truth. What did that witch, Fulke, do to you? You cannot even begin to imagine the things I've seen. What I've learned. Born of gods is who I am. A lord of war. A Roman Mars. I know who I am, I know my destiny, and you will not hinder me! Brother, forgive me. I am faint. Tired of the day and all that has passed. I need air. He's been this way since his return. Could you speak with him? Settle his mind? I can try. Stand with cheer, one and all. Today is a day of celebration. Basim, will you not join us? In time, I may celebrate. But tonight is a melancholy mood. I would rather sit here quietly, alone, with my thoughts. I understand. Do not let Sigurd's present mood upset you. He spoke warmly of you as we sailed here. I believe he still trusts you more deeply than he can express. We trust each other. That is clear. Enjoy the feast, Eivor. What are you doing here? I was looking for you. Sigurd.
Dark died defending my honor? So he claimed. Then he was a fool. My honor needs no defense. It is stone solid. Unblemished. I offered him a way out. But... Shh. Say nothing more of the past. It is gone. There is a rift as deep as death between then and now. I was tested, Eivor, in a crucible of blood and fire. And in my agony, I was reborn. You may think me less than I was, but this is not so. I am greater than before. My mind is a wellspring of prophecies, visions that tell me who I truly am. And for all that, I am grateful for my suffering. Sigurd, I want to understand, but all this, all you say makes little sense. Basim saw these things in me. Fulke, too. Despite her cruelty, she spoke the truth. I am more than the man I was. More than this hobbling stick that stands before you. You must look harder, Eivor. Deeper. See for yourself what they found in me. Do you see it? My greater self. I... I don't know what that means. Look! This is the face of a god. I see only my brother and my truest friend returned to where he is loved and cherished. Where he is meant to be. You are kind. But your eyes are clouded by the past. A place I can no longer see. I fear our paths diverged long ago. Go. I wish to be alone. Return to my feast and drink for me. Celebrate the days to come in my name. Now it seems the wind calls me back to Randvi. Let's tell her the good news. What happened yesterday? You and Sigurd disappeared during the feast. And when he returned, he went straight to our room without a word. We talked for a time. I asked many questions, but got few answers. I wish I could say more. Do you think Sigurd knows? About us? I don't think so. He would have said something. Sigurd wants to blame me for every mishap that has befallen him, but gives me no credit for his rescue. I don't understand. Yet he does speak with you. With me, he has gone totally silent. So, what now? This is for Sussex. We burned it to the ground to save one man. Yet he is barely the man we were searching for. Quite so.